Good morning. This is a morning meditation taken from some pages out of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. This is merely just to help those that may be so suffering or those that want to develop some sort of a a morning prayer life. So I'd encourage you to turn off your cell phone. And try to be right here right now. On awakening, let's think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially asking that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Under these conditions, we can employ our mental faculties, faculties with assurance. For after all, God gave us brains to use. Our thought life will be placed on a much higher plane when our thinking is cleared of wrong motives. In thinking about our day, we may face indecision. We may not be able to determine which course to take. Here we ask God for inspiration, an intuitive thought, or a decision. We relax and take it easy. We don't struggle. We are often surprised how the right answers come after we have tried this for a while. What used to be the hunch of the occasional inspiration gradually becomes a working part of the mind. We find that our thinking will, as time passes, be more and more on the plane of inspiration. We will come to rely upon it. We usually conclude the period of meditation with a prayer that would be shown all throughout the day what our next step is to be, that we be given whatever we need to take care of such problems. We ask especially for freedom from self-will and are careful to make no requests for ourselves only. We may ask for ourselves, however, if others will be helped. We are careful never to pray for our own selfish ends. If circumstances warrant, we ask our wives or friends to join us in morning meditation. If we belong to a religious denomination, which requires a definite morning devotion, we attend to that also. Be quick to see where religious people are right. Make use of what they offer. So we clean house with the family, asking each morning in meditation that our Creator show us the way of patience, tolerance, kindliness, and love. The spiritual life is not a theory, we have to live it.
If not members of religious bodies, we sometimes select and memorize a few set prayers which emphasize the principles we have been discussing. Third Step Prayer God, I offer myself to Thee to build with me and to do with me as Thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self, that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties, that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help, of thy power, thy love, and thy will way of life. May I do thy will always. Seventh Step Prayer My Creator, I am now willing that you should have all of me, good and bad. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my fellows. Grant me strength as I go out from here to do your bidding. Amen. is the prayer of St. Francis, also known as the 11th step prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, let me sow joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. This is the full version of the Serenity Prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as the pathway to peace, taking as he did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. next prayer I like to say is from Thomas Merton. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think that I am following your will does not actually mean that I am doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope that I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I never do anything apart from that desire. I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, for I will trust you always, though I may seem to be lost in the shadow of death. I do not fear, for you are ever with me and you will never leave me to face my perils alone.
God will constantly disclose more to you and to us. Ask him in your morning meditation what you can do each day for the man who is still sick. The answers will come if your own house is in order. But obviously you cannot transmit something you haven't got. See to it that your relationship with him is right and great events will come to pass for you and countless others. This is the great fact for us. Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to him and to your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of what you have find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you trudge the road of happy destiny. May God bless you and keep you until then. As we go throughout the day, we pause when agitated or doubtful and ask for the right thought or action. We constantly remind ourselves we are no longer running the show, humbly saying to ourselves many times each day, Thy will be done. We are then in much less danger of excitement, fear, anger, worry, self-pity, or foolish decisions. We become much more efficient. We do not tire so easily, for we are not burning up energy foolishly as we did when we were trying to arrange the life to suit ourselves. It works. It really does. We alcoholics are undisciplined, so we let God discipline us in the simple way we have just outlined. We shouldn't be shy in this matter of prayer. Better men than us are using it constantly. I would encourage you to take this time to think about your day. Thank you for joining me on this guided morning meditation.